The golden era of artificial intelligence has only just begun, with AI solutions accessible to help individuals do more. However, Apple's involvement in AI has been modest, to put it mildly. Apple needs to do something to create an impact and show the world that it is keeping up with the times. The M3 chip was the first 3 nanometers Mac processor, which debuted with the A17 Pro in the iPhone 15 Pro. The 3 nanometers technology allows for improved transistor density, which can lead to better performance and power efficiency. While the M3 obviously outperforms the M2, which was created using an improved 5 nanometers technology, we see what is commonly referred to as an incremental performance bump of 15 to 20 percent. While any increase is beneficial, 15 to 20 percent isn't remarkable. As a result, the M3's absence of a higher-than-average leap hurt its marketing efforts, even historically, it pales in comparison to the M1, a microprocessor that had the advantage of being the first to market and outperforming the Intel models it replaced. When Apple announced the M3, it decided to shift its release schedule, instead of releasing the base M series chip first, followed by Pro, Max, and Ultra variants later, like with the M1 and M2 the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max were delivered simultaneously. This brought welcome stability to Apple's Mac portfolio. However, the M3 cycle was still ongoing until this past Sunday, with M3 improvements for the Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and Mac Pro said to be on the way. However, if an M4 iPad Pro is released, it looks that the M3 is effectively done. This implies that the Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and Mac Pro will miss one chip cycle. This is not new for Apple. The firm bypassed the M2 for the iMac and never issued an M1 Mac Pro. However, this might result in a glitch in Mac sales since buyers who had intended to invest in these three Macs would have to wait a little longer. If Apple does release an M4 iPad Pro, it will be the end of the M3.